What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports, back again with another one. Ran across this story this morning, man. Uh, Kanye West, a.k.a. Yee, has come out and said that he's going to run for the president in 2020. November 3rd is the election date as Joe Biden, the Democratic uh, nominee, will go against the incumbent Donald J. Trump. And Kanye West has thrown his hat in the ring, evidently. You know, back in 2015, uh, he, he he came out at the uh, VMAs, the MTV VMA Awards, and said that he was going to run for president in 2016. Didn't come to fruition, but now he's back on it again, now saying that he's going to run in 2020. Now, a lot of people is coming out and saying that they don't think that's a good idea. A lot of people uh, are telling uh, Kanye to don't do that because all he'll be doing is taking votes away from uh, Joe Biden. And that's for enabling uh, Donald Trump to get a second term as the president of the United States. Now, um, I think it's a little bit of a publicity stunt myself. You know, he's just dropped a single. So this is a, a good way to keep his name in the headlines and promote his single. And I think he's got an album coming out later this year. So I think uh, this is all uh, smoke and mirrors, man, propaganda. I think he's just uh, out here promoting his brand. Um, as you know, he's... Um, he would have to actually file for uh, president with the FEC, and he hasn't done that. Still have time if he's serious about it, which I doubt, but he would have to file with the FEC to officially run. And, uh, you know, he would have to run for in, as an independent because he has no power for it uh, for the Democratic nomination or the Republican nomination. Now, there's a lot of backlash from a lot of people saying, you know, he'll just be stealing votes away from Joe Biden. They don't think it's a good idea. Me, myself, think it's just a big, big publicity stunt, man, to promote his upcoming album. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what transpires, man. It was just a, a funny story, man, about him again stating that he's going to run for president. Like I said, this is not the first time he's done this. He did it at the VMA Awards, and that was that was a publicity stunt. A lot of people were saying that was supposed to promote an uh, uh, upcoming album. And... Uh, and then I believe this is the same situation. Now, he has enough money. Him and uh, Kim Kardashian, as you know, the Kardashians are worth uh, $900 million, And I think Kanye uh, West is worth uh, close to a billion himself. As he's, uh, in my opinion, one of the uh, best rappers to ever uh, grace the mic. You know, I think he's definitely top 10. You know, definitely my top 10. I don't know exactly uh, where in the top 10, but he's definitely top 10 all-time uh, rap of, rappers. Uh, of all time, in my opinion, man. Like, you know, I, if I had to make a quick list off the top of the head, definitely uh, Biggie Smalls, one, Tupac, two, Jay Z, three, Nas, four. Uh, let's see here, Nas, four. I'm gonna go a little old school, uh, LL Cool J, five, Rock Him, six, Kanye West, seven. You know, uh, then we're on down the list, uh, 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 Lil Wayne, eight. Uh, I probably missed some people, uh, that I could put uh definitely put up in there, man. Uh, but that's 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 off the top of my head, top eight. And uh Jay the Kiss, definitely nine. Um, let me see if I can round off my top ten, put number ten. Let me think about a top ten. Oh let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, yeah, let me go. I'm gonna go old school, man. I'm gonna go old school, even though I could put no nah, let me let me go new school. Let me go to new school. Let me put Rick Ross number ten. That's probably my top ten. Rick Ross number ten. I was debating between Rick Ross and then you had Big Daddy Kane, Kumo D. I was gonna go a little old school with it, but then probably you know an unscientific poll uh, top ten. But definitely Kanye West is in that top ten of uh, the best MCs of all time in the rap game. But uh, going back to his uh, proclamation that he's gonna run for presidential, uh, to go run for the president, man, he definitely has the funds. He definitely has the money to outspend uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump with the help of his wife Kim Kardashian. Uh, he definitely has the funds to do that. Uh, with those two uh, incomes combined, they could outspend both of those guys. But it would just be a bad idea right now. I think it's too late. We're right here in July right now. Less, you know, less than four months out from the election. Don't think it's enough time. Like I said, he hasn't filed the FEC. He's uh, filed with the FEC, which would be the first step toward him seriously and uh, 
taken seriously about running for president. He would actually have to file with the FEC, and that would give the signal that he actually is running. He hasn't done that yet. Didn't do it in 2015 when he got on the VMAs and stated that he was running for president. He didn't file with the FEC then, and he hasn't done it uh, to this point yet. So until he does that, I just think it's just speculation. I think not even speculation. I think it's just uh, him promoting his uh, single and promoting his upcoming album. Let me know what you think about Kanye West, a.k.a. Yee, <laughs> saying he's going to run for the president of the United States. As you know, he's had a, a relationship with Donald Trump, man. There's, as everybody remember, man, that tirade that he had in the Oval Office when he was uh, sitting uh, with Donald Trump, when he was saying uh, Donald Trump was the greatest thing since sliced bread and Donald Trump was a great, a great American and a great uh, person to run this country. And uh, he pissed off a lot of people, especially a lot of people of... Uh, that hadn't supported Donald Trump uh, in the 2016 election, man. He did. He had. He pissed off a lot of people, man. A lot of people didn't like that. A lot of people thought that was going to hurt his brand, but to this point, it didn't do that. Since then, he has kind of distanced himself from uh, Donald Trump. You know, he's uh, he's 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 going uh, he's going into a uh, serious serious uh, into hardcore religion, which is great great thing. He's been holding holding church services. I've been seeing some of them on uh, on the internet and stuff with thousands upon thousands of people at his service as he's uh, going real religions, real religious. He's been holding those uh, holding those events, and um, his wife Kim Kardashian uh, was in the Oval Office, uh, and he got and she was able to uh, convince Donald Trump to overturn a wrongful conviction of a lady named Alice Simpson, if I'm not mistaken. I might got the name wrong. It might be Alice Johnson, a black lady that was uh, wrongly accused of a crime. He was able to get her uh, her uh, conviction overturned. And uh, a lot of people thought uh, that she was uh, aligning herself with Donald Trump. But I think she knew Donald Trump for before he was president. He was a good friend. And she called on a friend uh, to do a favor for her to help uh, get a woman that was wrongly accused of a crime uh, for that, that conviction to get overturned and she was able to do that you know sometimes you got to deal with people that you might not agree with on their policies or you might not really like really personally outside of, but you know they can do some things that can help you get an innocent person uh, uh, conviction overturned and that's what she was able to do I don't think she was one of those people that was out here with a red MAGA hat on and saying that she loves Trump and make America great again and she supports, she supports everything Donald Trump does she just uh, knew Donald Trump and she was able to uh, get that uh, conviction overturned. And I salute her for that. But as far as her husband actually running for the president of the United States, that remains to be seen. And again, I think it's something, uh, I don't think it's much more than a publicity stunt, again, to uh, promote his upcoming album. We'll see what happens. We'll see what transpires. But if this is true, and if he does file with the FEC, uh, would you think he, uh, would you vote for Kanye West? Or would you... Uh, this, uh, vote for uh, Joe Biden or Donald Trump. Let me know what you think about Kanye West proclaiming that he's going to run for the uh, president of the United States. Do you think it's a good idea? Or do you think it's bogus? Do you think he's clout chasing? What do you think he's an uh, actual, uh, be going to be the outcome of his uh, saying that he's going to run for the president of the United States? Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. I holla. Subscribe to me. And I got, I'll bring more great content and more great video to you. Peace out. Peace.